For our last built-in data structure, let's look at maps in JavaScript. Let's begin with the characteristics. First, a map is an unordered collection of key value pairs. Both keys and values can be of any data type. Second, to retrieve a value, you can use the corresponding key. Finally, maps are iterables. They can be used with a for off loop. A lot of these characteristics are similar to objects. So let's zoom in on the differences. Objects are unordered, whereas maps are ordered. Keys in objects can only be string or symbol type, whereas in maps, they can be of any type. An object has a prototype and may contain a few default keys, which may collide with your own keys if you're not careful. A map, on the other hand, does not contain any keys by default. Objects are not iterables, whereas maps are iterables. The number of items in an object must be determined manually, whereas it is readily available with the size property in a map. Finally, apart from storing data, you can attach functionality to an object whereas maps are restricted to just storing data. All right, now that we understand the characteristics of maps and how they differ from objects, let's head over to Replit and look at an example in code. To create a new map, we use the map constructor. The constructor optionally accepts an array as its argument. The array though should contain arrays of length two as elements. A comma one, B comma two. Here, A and B are the keys. One and two are the corresponding values in the two key value pairs. To log the values, we can use the for of loop to iterate over the map. For const key comma value of map console.log backticks key colon value. If we run the code, now we do have an error here. Since we have to wrap our two array elements inside square brackets. So the constructor accepts one array, which has smaller arrays of length two as its elements. If we now run the code, we can see the values in the console. A is the key, one is the value. B is the key, two is the value. We have two key value pairs. To add a new value, we can use the set method. So map.set key is C, value is three. Now this is a method and not the set data structure from the previous video. Please do not get confused. Run the code and we see the three values. If you want to check if a key exists in the map, you can use the has method. So console.log map.has a run the code and we see true logged in the console. If you want to delete a key value pair from the map, you can make use of the delete method. So map.delete C, run the code, and we now have only two key value pairs. C has been deleted. If you want to check the number of key value pairs in the map, you can make use of the size property. So console log once again, but this time map.size. Run the code, and this will return 
2. Finally, to delete all the key value pairs in the map, you can make use of the clear method. Map.clear. Run the code. And there are no key value pairs in the console. Alright, I hope you now have a fundamental understanding of the built in data structures in JavaScript. Let us now move ahead with the core part of the series, which is custom data structures. And we are going to start with the stack data structure in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.